took the day off, went and did some racing yesterday. Um, when we left off the other day, we basically had the motors mounted, the ESCs mounted to the power distribution board. Uh, we've got the camera wire soldered, we have the VTX wire soldered, and we were just getting into soldering and prepping the motors to go and connect to the power distribution board. Now when we left the other day, we said we had to save these wires from the ESC so that we could use them for extensions. However, I've talked to Michael and he stated that with the new Amdrake's motors, they've already been ordered with wires long enough so that you could solder them to the power distribution board. Okay, so to get started for the day, today, we're going to take the motors and we're going to prep them to get them soldered to the power distribution board. And the big challenge here that I really can't put on paper for you is we need to find out and identify which wire is going to be the left wire, which wire is going to be the center wire, and which wire is going to be the right wire. And we're going to do that using a Sharpie marker and a paint pen. Alright, so for me to identify the left wire, I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to color the end of this. Any permanent markers so that I can identify it differently from something else. Color the end. I'm going to take my paint pen. I'm just going to mark the wire here anywhere. Just so we can tell. And then we'll leave this one alone so the right one will be uncolored.
All right, before I go further here, this next step tells me I need to solder these pins to the board. I am going to solder only a couple of these. The servo leads coming from the ESCs, I'm going to cut the grounds down, heat shrink them, and then I am only going to solder the sig white signal wire directly to the board. So I made a mistake, I made a couple assumptions. Two accessories packs with nylon accessories. Two different kits. One bag comes in the flight controller box. One bag comes in a separate kit, which is included in the box. So the power distribution board says to use one and a half millimeter spacers and M3 bolts and a couple of M3 nuts. To mount the power distribution board you need to use these nylon accessories that are in the flight controller box. If you do not, you will not have the correct ones to mount your flight controller. The flight controller states that it needs an 18 millimeter nylon bolt, it needs to be cut down to 15 millimeter, it needs to use an 8 millimeter spacer, and M3 nuts. The flight controller nylon hardware is found in the additional nylon accessories Ziploc bag. 